Hey guys, I'm Jens on occasion, and today, more Oleg the Ever Chosen campaign. And uh, we're, we're chasing down Grand Brindle, right? It's, you know, corn versus the dwarfs. I like it. It's a good matchup for us. Uh, we should be able to cut through these guys fairly quickly. Yeah, probably Boris is going to start, you know, doubling back. I don't really know what his game is. Uh, I feel like he doesn't have much going on. He's got six settlements. He's still got a fair bit going on, I suppose. But he's probably lost his bears and has no means to replace him now, right? So I, I don't think he's going to be that much of a threat uh, going forwards. He is at war with all of the Norskins around. So, yeah, I don't like his odds. I don't like his odds. I think we'll get to him pretty quick. Um, you know, if he does try and lash out again, I think we'll be done with the dwarves fairly fast. And we can we can get back to fighting him. Um, it would be lovely if Oleg could actually finish him off. Although the idea of just some random nobody defeating Boris and then Oleg turns up to take on the um, the Tsarina. I think that would be better. I'm worried the Tsarina is not going to survive long enough. I really am. Um, ooh, Chaos Armor. Oh, that's really useful. Missile block. Uh, melee block reflection and missile block chance. That's really powerful. Wow. Alright, Darwi Breaker is actually going to be a pretty good guy, isn't he? I think he's be pretty fierce. But um, yeah, we can turn that off. I'm going to keep him undivided. I'm not even going to give him Demon Hood. I'm going to keep him undivided. So this guy um, is dealing with the elves really well. So yeah, any invasion that we have, like end game crisis thingy, um, has been pretty limp. You know, it's not been a big deal. Um, we can upgrade that, but do we want to? <laughs> oh boy. I feel like we're going to lose that pretty quickly. You know? So I don't think it's worth upgrading. Now, do I have anything else that could be upgraded? And we don't have much cash on us right now. I think I think we just have to... Oh! There's an outpost available. Never mind, I'll get it another time around. I wish there was a back button. So, like, if you skip, you know, notifications, you just go back to them. It's, it's odd that there isn't. You know, or just like a list of tasks to do or something. Yes, yes, yes. Peace treaty. Yeah, no, no, that's not happening. Although I might, uh, I might suggest he become our vassal. I'd, I'd be happy for him to become a vassal. I think Loki here would make a fantastic warrior of chaos. You know, I think he'd do a great job. Ah, Grumblindle's attacking us. Okay, this is good news. Let's have him. So one interesting thing with this battle that I think is just sublime is the fact that our first big battle with this character was against Grombrindle. I'm sure you guys remember it. It was a great little battle. So yeah, I think we're going to have... Um, these guys are going to try and get in round the back. Alright, they're going to try and get in round the back. Deal with their artillery. Alright, that's the plan. You guys should probably land. Um, land. Thank you. Yeah, we've got a lot of chariots, which is very handy for us. Like a lot of chariots. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And ghoul beasts just flipping weird, aren't they? Ugh. Right, so... Um, yeah, yeah, I think this is perfect. Uh, I don't really want to be fighting um, uphill again. I will have to crest this hill as they draw near, but I don't want to be a sort of a sitting duck for artillery. Is the problem. But yeah, we should be able to get these guys into the rear nicely. Oh, although... Ooh. Ooh boy. That was spicy. Uh, so, they have 116 move speed. That's quite a lot. But, I mean, I do have some options, don't I? Alright, well, I can slow them down. I don't think I do, do I? I can speed you up, though. Oh, wow, they're actually coming for us. That seems a bit weird. Wow, they're really asking for it. Thanks, I guess. And we got a barrier, so that didn't really do anything. Okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they're not moving. Which is annoying. 
Oops. Okay, I'll move around that way. Um. Oh, no, they're back. They've got terrified. Classic. Hey, they'll be dead soon. Just, yeah, real waste of gyro bombers. Real waste. Oh, we've got a little Norskin village over there. Alright, shoot five, all that. No, oh, no, apparently that's not enough. They have a hundred health left. Alright, they're out, though. They're out. There we are. Okay, perfect. Everyone else? You're moving in. Alright, you. Getting you up and around. You guys? Okay, let's get you all over here. What is what is up with your movement? I'm trying to move here and they're trying to move over there. What the hell? Alright, let me try and get into those uh those iron drakes as quick as we can. There's a lot of slayers here, which is very scary. Very scary, dude. Right, I'll try and hit them too. Oh, giant slayers. But hey, we're getting some damage in there. You guys need to keep moving. And you know what? Final transmutation. Alright, let's hit one of these. Okay, I can't quite get over there. Alright, you deal with them. Final transmutation. Perfect. Alright, you start running that way, please. You start running this way. I need you into these guys. As quick as you can. Alright, let's hit them, please. Alright, they're nearly dealt with. They're nearly dealt with. Alright, they're gonna get destroyed real quick. Which is great. You need to get out of there, mate. Come on, get out of there. Alright, come help fight these guys for me. Oh, yeah, they're really throwing themselves away over here, actually. Okay, how long before you can chain lightning someone? I really want to chain lightning here, because that's looking pretty terrifying. Okay, trolls. Go kill those iron drakes. Alright, you. Into the back of those giant slayers. Yeah, this is looking a bit sketch. But, you should have them soon. Should have them soon. Uh, I can't really see the circle there, but I think it gets all of them. Alright, that's going really well. Uh, Alright, you're done. Let's get you over here. You can just chain lightning on someone. I don't know what, though. Maybe here? I'm not going to hit a bunch of my own guys, but... It feels sort of inevitable. I think that's fine. Alright, chase them down, please. And yeah, it looks like we're getting through these guys pretty well. There's hammerers in here. They should be doing a fine job against us. They should be doing a real fine job. Against the sort of folks that we've got in here. Ah, good, I can reach. Perfect. Let's hit him. Alright, let's hit these iron drakes. God, they're iron drakes. They're taking a while to kill. And... All right, you guys need to run, okay? You need to get out of there. <laughs> so many friendly fire uh, incidents, let's call them. All right, let's go, Adam. Uh All right, these are all the Slayers left. I mean, killing Grombrindle is going to take weeks, of course. Always does. Always does. All right, we've got some big armor piercing. Let's go for him. We haven't taken much damage over there yet. It's like what we did with the trolls last time. We just want everything that can hit him, that can hit him, like, hard, to, to do so. You know, you'd hit him real hard. And I guess final transmutation on him as well. Not the best thing in the world, but it's not terrible. 
Okay, good. Skull crushers. They have anti infantry. Let's bring them over here. Get some damage into them. Uh, I think a plague of rust would probably be quite good right about now. Alright, let's bring you guys back. Yeah, let's pull you guys out of the fight. Can't afford to have any old idiot in there. Uh, where's my lord? Oh, wait, no, that's Exalted Hero. Is that him? No. Oh, there he is. Yeah, get over here, mate. Get over here. You know what? He's nearly dead anyway. But I do want my lord in here, ideally. He's not a chariot. Yeah, he's got a Gorby's chariot, so he'll do good damage. He will do good damage. Good versus infantry. Huge weapon strength. And we do have heroic killing blow as well. So I tell you what, we're dueling, guys. We're doing a duel. Alright, let's see if you guys can actually get out of there. Let's see if you can actually get out of there, okay? Blowing a horn just so we can hear us coming. Alright, because I'm, I'm a sicko like that. Heroic killing blow! Alright, come on, man. You can have it. Right? And obviously we can cheat. Alright, come on, mate. Hit him. I have not hit him yet. Come on, you should have pretty even odds of hitting him, you know. He's run out of heroic killing blow. Even with the charge bonus, we didn't bloody hit him. What the hell? That's not heroic at all. Let's shoot him with a fireball. Screw this guy. What a jerk. Alright, everyone in. Everyone in. Oh, now you hit him. Now you don't do as much damage, you hit him. Alright, well, he's down anyway. Rawr. I mean, that's gotta be it, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, well done, boys. But honestly, that was kind of pathetic, Baratus. I mean, at least he stole his soul, alright? That's, that's what matters. Alright. Loads of souls, loads of favor, loads of experience. And let's get more souls and favor. Uh, he wants me to join the war against the Order of the Blazing Sun. Huh. Not what these guys are. No, because that's you. Oh, there he is. There he is. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I, I want to play as Maximino Capitore. Sounds like a fun campaign to play. Yeah, you know what, sure. But, uh, yeah, just nice the Blazing Sun as a faction. Kind of cool. Yes. Bow before he who wields the Slayer of King. Hello, Hammer. Defensive Alliance. Um, how about instead of that, you become my vassal? He's thinking about it. Let's threaten him. Yep. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we have another vassal, guys. I find it funny him being like, hey, we could be we could be partners, you know, equal partners in this alliance. You know, we'll help each other out. Like, how about you help me out? Okay, that also sounds great. Love that. Sound a great one. Good job, Oleg, yep. Uh-huh. Your actions have drawn the attention of the Chaos Gods. Though they are fickle, you could perhaps direct their attention to a particular area. However, there is always a price to be paid. Let's go with shenanigans. No, no. Can't be bothered. Although it is um it's quite fun to have all the crazy ambush chances, but I think we're a bit bit more direct, don't we? Uh growth plus hundred for all provinces for five turns. That's kind of huge. That's kind of insane, actually. Let's do my fortresses. That sounds hilarious. And uh, a juggernaut for Varitus. The Vanna Heimlings, we're getting outpost uh construction. Blood for the Blood God, we get a new gift. Love gifts. Let's go. Haven't looked at the corn ones yet. So what have we got? Quite a few. Soul sent to corn. How do you sacrifice, uh, like, specifically to corn? Is it you do a sacrifice, but you have, um, you do it with a character that is devoted to corn? Is that how that works? I never really paid attention. Um, 
Trophy heads for all corn characters, that's really powerful. Minus 30 melee defense and attack for enemies is, is awesome. Blood greed for all units with the mark of corn. That's really good. So the more they kill, the more powerful they get. Love that. That lets us unlock Chaos War Shrines of Corn. That gives us Skull Cannons. That gives us Soul Grinders. And that gives us Bloodthirsters. Ooh, can't wait to get those. I mean, getting a bunch of blood letters would be good too, actually. And uh, army ability summoned from beyond for the fact. Oh, only the faction leader's army. That's a bit sad, but it will mean that Archaon will be able to summon um, blood letters once we get that technology. Also, some flesh hands of corn to summon would be nice, but we can get some of them anyway, can't we? Income from post-battle loot and income from raising settlements. I mean, just getting more cash would be amazing, especially now. Uh, I mean, I really want to get some blood letters. I really do. I think that'd be really fun. But no, we're going to do this first, okay? I'm going to do this one because I want that extra cash. Because we are going to need a lot of cash with our growth in, like, in overdrive, you know? Try and get as many of these upgrades as possible. Okay, so that's two. See, we had so much cash and we only got two. Uh, Alright, you can continue to move that way. If they all attack us, I still think we probably win, even though we just got a lot of marauders. Um, I think we'll still do pretty well. Well, hopefully, anyway. Might just die. That's fine, I'm making a new army. It really is that simple. Just make a new army. Because, you know, that's the sort of faction we're playing. Oh, for God's sake! Like... No. Cannon, you fool. Attack him! What? Why are you running over here? I specifically told you to attack her, so this nonsense wouldn't happen. Christ! Our, like, our allies are bloody useless at listening to us. They would just listen to us, we'd be fine. Anyway, let's kill uh, Almador Azril with his pathetic little army, the one little gyrocopter that escaped. Uh, corn Marked gives us Deathbringer, which you won't let me look at. Come on. Uh, that gives me base weapon damage and armor piercing damage up. Yes, please. And what do these do? Icon of Endless War gives extra leadership and it restores vigor for nearby people. That's really good. Spell resistance for the whole army. And uh, Paragon of Carnage, his melee attack goes up. The more kills that we get, the more melee attack everyone near us gets. That's pretty cool. These are fun abilities. I think uh, keeping Vigor high, though, is the, the coolest thing there. Alright, Vanitas Humongous. Infernal Champion, maybe? Yeah, I want him to get Deadly Onslaught, actually. Let's give him Blade Shield. And Jaeger. Let's do the same. And for Uzu. Let's give him... In Final Transmutation. Up again. It's a great spell. Now let's see. Are we going to lose all of our units if we do this? No. No, we can finish him off nice and easy. Sacrifice souls. It's delicious. Nommy nommy souls. i got to be a bit careful here, you know. Could he reach that in a turn? I don't want to be in a position where that gets attacked, that I'm just sat next to it like a, like a lemon getting dragged into a fight that I don't want to be in. Oh, you leveled up again. And final tra transmutation again. Good. Oh, student for Jaeger. And a juggernaut for Jaeger. Nice. Okay. Got a lot more juggernauts. Uh, that'll do. And you. Echoed Troll Tooth. Uh, I just realized this guy could potentially hop over. That would be a bit rough if he did that. It'd take me weeks to move back around. But hopefully it won't come to that. I'll just make a new army, I suppose, if it comes to that. Um, God, our lands are big. So, extra corn corruption from Chaos Altars, extra corn corruption from each gift of corn. I mean, more corn corruption is good. It gives us more corn stuff. More allegiance points with alliances and vassal, uh, vassalage with corn. That's quite cool. 
Call authority goes up. Bloody summons. Gifted units pull capacity plus two for blood letters and flesh hounds. And it gives a summon from beyond. Let's grab that. For when we do get the thing that I that I want. You know, I will swap that gift once um once ruinous abundance is done. I'll uh, I'll swap that gift. If I remember, I'll swap that gift for um this one. Why is that moved? Oh, it puts active ones at the top. Ah, okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll do this one so we can summon units. That'll be really cool. God, blood greed for all the units. There's some really cool stuff here. Some really cool stuff. How do I get more corn gifts? I assume it's just the final technology here. Skulls for the skull throne? Yeah, it puts on gifts again. God, we can only get two. We'll have to sort of have one which is like stuff that we want. For like in battle, you know, abilities and things. And then we'll just cycle the other ones around like a bunch of recruitment options, maybe? Perhaps? Alright, outpost available. It's not happening. And another outpost available. Uh, none of these are giving us particularly good um, options, but I guess they're not the worst, so sure. I mean, it'd be nice to get some plague bearers somewhere. For an army, eventually. Alright, moving on. Alright. So, uh, Allied Outpost lost. They're no longer Pret. They're no longer Pret to Mange. They have monged their last Mange. They're, they're done. They're done. Clan Mange. Gone. It's very sad. It's very sad. Uh, but we can take revenge on the dwarves. Uh, that looks like a bit of a giggle, doesn't it? Oh, uh, Varus is humongous. Uh, ooh, would love deadly onslaught, so I'm going to get it, even though I should probably go for the thing that's going to give me some some uh, protection. Uh, do I attack him? We will get some backup from Grung Directoraz. Um, and... Where the hell am I? Here we go, this is the one. Um... There's still a lot here. It's largely trash, but then our army sucks. Um, I think we need to hold back. I think we need to hold back a bit. Alright, we'll still have good chance to... Um, ugh, we'll still have a good chance to ambush. Uh, we can retreat if we need to. Okay, what can I do? I could dedicate all these to, like, Slanesh or someone. Should I dedicate them to Slanesh? Because we definitely got some Slanesh souls. We need technology first. Ah! Fighting all these elves, it makes me really want to dedicate something to Slanesh. You know? It's not working. Why are you drawing my attention to this? I have no idea. Not a clue. Did we unlock something? Did we? I don't know. Did we? I have no idea. I, I, I don't know the foggiest. I don't. New gifts unlocked. Okay, where? Which ones? Was it one of these, then? Do we get violent hunger? Yeah, okay, I think maybe we got violent hunger. That's fine. Yeah, no worries. Okay, um... Stop, stop telling me. Why are, you, why are you still telling me? When does that... Does that ever go? I have no idea. Anyway, whatever. We're going to keep... Um, we're going to keep this guy here, I think. They're only going to throw more stuff at us, right? So I don't think it's a problem. Uh, we can try and get a bit of a garrison there in case they run off in a different direction. I think we need more income as well. And then over here, well, we can easily take this, so I will. This is mine now. Oh, it actually is mine. I was thinking it would be, you know, sort of ours, but... You know what? I'm going to raise it so we get the souls. Um, and he can just go ahead and grab that. And yeah, let's head down to uh, Osberg. You will do as I command. <laughs> While on your what? Um, yeah, he doesn't He doesn't want to make any agreements. He really hates us. Oh, we got the scroll of Aramar. And that's cute. And yeah, I guess you just book it there as quick as you can. Oleg, the ever chosen. Let's get you magical preserves. I want him to get arcane conduit so we can just have more magic than we know what to do with mentor. He's, he's enrolling in this little big brother program, you know. He's going to teach some kids how to chaos. Uh, let's got blade shield. Okay, the Varita Soul Thief. 
over here. I mean, you've already moved. So, yeah, I think we just attack him. Let's get him, guys. Let's get him. Rawr. Uh Pyrrhic victory will wipe out all of our units, which is uh, annoying because they are so close to becoming chosen. So close, yet so far. Uh, in fact, this battle might be enough for a couple of these to get to rank 7. Like that one, maybe. Oh, boy. I mean, that would be pretty awesome, right? I mean, looking, looking at this bar, they seem close. So maybe, maybe. Oh, I hope so. Uh, yeah, so we're going to fight this. It's going to be tough, though. It's going to be a little tough. I think as long as we can get, as long as we can get most of our troops into their back line nice and quickly, we should be okay. But the, the huge amount of troll hammer torpedoes here and cannons made me very uncomfortable, but let's do it. Alright, so first off, line them up. Uh, you're on a flipping... Really? Well, he's gonna die. Uh, and, and so will he. You can just sit back. Uh, I didn't realise he'd been put on a uh, war altar. I didn't realise that was a thing. It's very bad. Very, very bad. Uh, all you lot are going to go around the back. Trolls too. Alright. That's the plan. And you do nothing for now. Okay. No, not that. Thank you. Alright, you run that way. You guys all run over here. There are slayers on the edges, which is, you know, smart. Alright, let's move you up. We got some final transmutations in here, we can do some good work. You know? Alright, peel you off. Alright, have you run into the middle there. The middle of that hedge. And, ooh, do I chase them in individually? It's tough call. I might see if I can aim for that rune lord. Alright, keep moving up and around. I think I could try and hit these slayers or something. Hit those hammerers, maybe? Okay, let's move you up and around. Uh, those are the slayers. There's some ranges with great weapons over there, too. Okay, let's get into these cannons, please. And Christ, that is painful. Alright, come on, boys. I need you into here, okay? Flippin' heck. Uh, let's try and hit these thunderers. They've already moved. Fine. Alright, come on. Need you guys in here. Alright, the Slayer's nearly dead. Miser Blast and Charges. Oh my god. Let's hit them again. These Iron Drakes still somehow shooting at this guy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, come on, let's get you guys involved. Alright, Slayers are over there. Oh, he's running. What, is he even still shooting at him? I don't even know. I can't even tell. Is it those cannons? Look at that. Yeah, I don't know how he took the damage he took. I, was, I couldn't even work out what was shooting at him. Alright, there's troll hammer torpedoes there. They need to be stopped. Alright, buff, buff, buff. All the buffs. Uh, okay, they killed the Slayers. How are these miners still going as well? Kind of impressive. Alright, you're back, right? Atta boy. Alright, kill these miners, please. Alright, stay on those troll drakes. Uh, they've still got Slayers in here. Which we don't really want to be fighting with them, but... 
Yeah, I need to hit over here. Come on, come on, come on. Slowest thing in the world. This is why I really wanted him to stay on the... Um, on the thingamajig. You know. The thingamajig. Right, let's get you the heck out of there. Let's get you the heck out of there. And let's get you guys in there. Alright, shoot five balls at him, please. You can chase him down, too. Alright, it's in a bit harder, yeah? Maybe... Oh, was that the re-injured unit? Yes, it is. Alright, you get stuck in, alright? <laughs> Reinforcements are coming. Hello, fellas. Okay, good. Just need to kill these slaves. Which I can't even see. Oh, there they are. Six. Six left. Right, we can just speed this up. Alright, we got them. We got them all. We got them. And our spellcaster survived somehow. But yeah, this is why I want him on the disc. Just the altar is the stupidest thing for a lord to be on. Like, it, it's... I hate it more than I hate, um... Any character having unbreakable. Because you really need your lords and heroes either to be next to indestructible or mobile not incredibly flimsy and incredibly slow that's the worst combination for a spellcaster like he's just asking for them to get wiped out by you know 50 other things like normally if he's, if he's on foot cannons wouldn't be able to really hit him very easily you know so he's more vulnerable on this to cannon fire uh, he's slower, I think. Actually, speed is 42. He is actually quicker than most Chaos things, so he does not feel it. It's size, you know? But um, I just hate him. Like, he'd be so much better on a horse, or... Just a horse would be better. So yeah, Disc of Zinch is what I want him on. And yeah, I don't feel like it does enough. I can't even think what the bonus is. I just don't care, because if you have them close enough to be able to give any bonuses to stuff in your front line, they just die. So, I don't know. Great when fighting the undead, I guess. You know, stuff that can't shoot him. But yeah, just... Ugh. Yeah, if I'd noticed he was on that mount, I would've changed it. Um, change it now. Disc of Siege. Thank you. And can I give you anything else? I can give you a Ruby Ring of Ruin, so you can have even more fireballs with your fireballs. Why not, eh? But yeah, I've got, like, no armor or weapons for anyone. Or talismans, really. Real shortage of equipment in this campaign. Uh, burning brands, sure. Spell resistance is nice. Now, Veritas Humongous. Let's get you... Uh, aura of Chaos for that missile resistance. Troll hammer torpedoes are no joke. Uh, same with you, actually. And same with you, I think. Although, Arcane Conduit is right there. I can't not get Arcane Conduit when it's available. And we can reach him again, by the looks of it. Can I get Chosen? Hee 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 hee. So there's Chosen of Corn, uh, which are uh, great anyway. But they don't have as high weapon strength as the dual missile ones. I think we've got to go with the dual axe. Not dual missile, dual axe ones. I think. Because they're already dual axe. I mean, shields would be great. <laughs> against the dwarves, but I just think the the anti-infantry and absurd weapon strength. Um, I think we've got to go for them. Just a whole army of these. Let's move forward and then Lord Mower everyone. Besides the victory, low casualties. That's what I like to hear. Okay, that's lovely. More, uh, yeah, more souls of favor. He is going to have to march stance back to friendly territory for the replenishment, though. I uh, got a scroll of shielding. That's fine. Ah, Dwarf and Dread. More leadership fighting against dwarfs. Doesn't really make any difference. That's fine. Uh, Varitas Soul Thief, my boy. Let's get you all of the gods of that missile. Actually, let's get fight or die. Plus 24 melee attack to nearby folks. That's going to make these guys um, nigh on unstoppable. It's going to be very fun. Very fun indeed. God, so close to getting more of these guys to Chosen. We're going to have suddenly just a lot of Chosen. There'll be like a couple of battles that go by and I'll go, ooh, we have upgrades. And we'll have just a pile of Chosen. It's going to be cool. Uh, let's upgrade income from our vassals. In fact, let's not. Let's see if there's any main settlements that need upgrading first. Got none. Madness. Madness! 
strategy chamber. Yeah, let's get our vassals earning us more money. How much are we getting from vassals? 5,600. That is a lot of vassal income. I'm pretty happy with that, you know. Pretty happy. All right, you've moved uh, Osberg. I mean, these guys are happy to peace out, but I'm not. And uh, hang on a minute. Oh, okay, good. They're still just loitering there. Can't village, please kill them. Like, come on. <laughs> just please. Please kill them. All right, what else we got going on? I don't know. I don't know. I think this is the end of the turn. I think we're done with this turn. It's been a good turn. We killed a lot of dwarves. That's all I care about, really. Outpost available. Uh, oh, boy. Well, that gives us some very good access to Tinchi stuff. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Definitely want to get that. And we can give um, Echol Trolltooth some flamers or something in his army. You know, get rid of like the trolls and the chaos spawn. Get something a bit more, um, a bit more spooky. You know, these chaos knights. We can just make them chaos knights to teach. So I will. There we go. Much better. Uh, they're still needing to rank up slowly but surely. Are they, there are. There are. Chaos Warriors, please. And now, let's get Chaos Warrior Siege with Halberds. Siege with Halberds. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, I'll take it. I will take it. I like that a lot. That's looking better. Okay, outpost available for someone else as well. Uh, do I need to build any of this stuff? Probably not. Probably not. I might end up at war with these guys soon. And I know, I, I, that's, that wasn't the plan, but <laughs> they're right here. And uh, I might want to take the Bjordlings. Yeah, I might want to vassalize them, right? Always ready for a headbutting contest. He's an interesting sort. Yeah, we may just push through here and just declare war on them. I might just, like, walk right up. Um, I don't really care if our uh, reliability is low. You know, I just, I just don't care. It's fine. Uh, so, should we move on? Yes. Akarak wants a defensive alliance. I think at this point I just say yeah, and we just get a move on. Uh, what is Kemri doing up here? Won't ask. I'll just uh, leave him to it. Alright, I'm going to want more out of you though, mate. That's not that much more, but sure. I think that's all he's got. Okay, we're going to start allying more. Even though one of those allies I'm probably going to fight. It's, it doesn't matter. I want to get into the Empire and start, you know, cracking some skulls. Or, you know, just keeping them. Just collecting them, you know, as one does. Puppets of Misrule or mobilizing. About time. They just took that over, which is nice. Um, the Oracles of Zinch are building an outpost in Beast Flayer Lodge. Uh, Pina Calada has gone. Bloody summons. Corn sends his blood letters forth, answering the call to his illustrious champion. Very fun. I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to enjoy that a lot. Now, let's get over here. We've almost got them. Uh, though you are face? not comfortable. You don't exist. This army doesn't exist. I think they may have won the battle and it didn't remove village from the campaign map. That's very annoying. Uh, tell you what, you. Go get him, yeah? Thanks. We've got a load of Marauder Champions. It's a pretty good army there. Skin Wolves. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Uh, now, let's have a look. That is a Soul Thief. Ooh, they're, they're tired and their army is a joke. So, um, maybe I go kill him? He's in March start, so he's going to be tired. It's uh, pretty bonkers that I don't think we'll be able to get back to friendly territory or go and encamp start so we will miss out on replenishment which is, is actually a big deal that is actually a big deal alright let's bring him over here First for battle. and I am going to uh, try and ambush them because I think that will be funny uh, there is another army wow which actually would have backed them up that would have been a huge mistake. Uh, I think one of these will probably run into us. Don't know about the other one. Like, if we ambush one, and we can run away from the other. And then double back. 
Um, pretty funny, the alliance that we have forced here, where we have a siege army and a corn Your army friend. fighting together. It's um, real silly. And, oh my god, Felman, you absolute oh, chad. <laughs> Look at this, Bonner's getting, getting erect here. And Hammer Thane Frost is dealing with these guys. It looks, it looks like this is, yeah, this, this is the end of Boris. We defeated Boris's army, his main army, and he's just, yeah. Everyone else just swept through. So do I want to go across the Middle Sea? Uh, and, oh, nope, that's the wrong continent. I think we'll go across and land in Nordland. This isn't Nordland, this is... <laughs> this is Bretonia. Uh, it's over here I want to land. It's actually, like, so far in. I do need to go see uh, Zarina Catherine, though. Because it's not really an Oleg campaign unless we defeat uh, Zarina Catherine, the person who set us on this path in the first place. You know? Maybe she'll hold out until the very end, but I just don't like her odds. It does seem like the Oracles of Siege are absolutely terrorizing them. So, you know, I'm not sure. I am a rune lord, not some smith. It also kind of seems like the Great Orthodoxy is doing very well. Oh, there's Prague. So Kislev is all the way down here. I'm not used to this map, but Kislev is huge on this map. A nice play to Kislev campaign on this map, actually. But uh, the last campaign, it was an early access thing. So I, I couldn't, couldn't play with the mod. The mod wasn't ready. For the patch that I was playing. Okay, let's get this one so we can get some um, Sun Ash upgrades. We need that. And we should do the Nurgle one too. I want access to all of them so we can have like an army of each. Uh, we've got an army undivided in the middle, don't we? He's undivided. And then we have a Tinch one, a Corn one. We need a Sun Ash and a. Honestly, this undivided one should be. Um, we should make this the Sun Ash one though, to be honest. Given. Um, can we even make him? Yeah, we can. We can make him Slanesh. Yeah, we should make all these Slanesh. Um, because we're fighting elves. So that would that would be the best way to get Slanesh's um this is his gaze, you know? God, I just wish we get more Forsaken or something. If we had like all Forsaken instead of Marauders here. Then I'd be way more comfortable trying to attack these guys. Oh, looks like he's running a different direction this time. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to actually destroy this. Um, until we can get some Chaos Warriors or something. Something that can hold up against the constant, like, barrage of arrows. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. So there's an outpost available. Oh, cool. We get more demon stuff. I got a lot more demon stuff. Oh, and Monitor the Torgold or Akka? Who do you want to be? Now, Ultra Spawns is their capital, but I don't really care about having in their capital or not. Just build it there. Give us good access to things. Okay, that will do, I think. Um, you sit tight and replenish. I know you can see guys there. I know you want to go fight them. But yeah, things are looking pretty good for us. Things are looking pretty good for us. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end the episode here, I think. And, uh, yeah, I think I think we're on a good good trajectory. Um, Oleg could maybe go and deal with those elves. I reckon him turning up, he could take them out in like a second. So we'll see. We'll see how we feel. So guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. No man, no god, no creature can challenge me and live.